Welcome everyone, let's activate guided access on our iPhone. So all you do is you open up the settings app. From here, you want to scroll all the way down until you see accessibility. If you don't see accessibility, tap on general and then the accessibility option should be in here. Once you select accessibility, you're gonna scroll all the way down to the very bottom until you see this one right here, guided access. Tap on this one and now follow very closely. So we're gonna turn on guided access you see here accessibility shortcut, turn it off, then turn it back on. Now go back, you're gonna see here accessibility shortcut, tap into this one, you will see here guided access, and you'll see the triple lines. Drag on the triple lines, move your finger up and drop so that triple click the side button and guided access at the very top. If there are any options here which are ticked, untick these options, it's very important that you untick in order for guided access to work. Now we're going to go back into the guided access area and read the final sentence here. To start guided access, triple click the side button in the app you want to use. Now it's very important that you read this because on your iPhone you may see a different setup instruction. Okay, So if I go to this iPhone 7 here and I go to the exact same menu, guided access, you can see here for me, it says triple click the home button. So for this iPhone, it says triple click the side button. This one says triple click the home button. Home button is this by the way. So very important that when you are activating guided access, you use the correct key combination. So from here, you cannot activate guided access in the settings app. You cannot activate guided access on the home screen. So just go to any other app. Now, some applications may block guided access. Just keep that in mind. So let's say I'm gonna go to so some random app, the cloud gaming right here. And when I want to start guided access, I'm going to triple click the side button, which is the power button, if you're wondering. So let's do this together. Three, two, one, click, click, click. And you can see guided access now shows up. So you have options here and you can change all these options. So if the toggle is on, that means you can use it. So you can use motion, keyboards, touch, dictionary lookup. Side button though is turned off, so I cannot click the side button. Volume buttons are turned off, so I can't change the volume, okay? Uh, if you want this stuff off as well, you can just turn it off. Now you may notice here, when I turn off touch, the whole area goes gray. Now what if you want to disable certain parts uh, of the touch screen, not everywhere? So what you do is you keep touch on here, you tap on done. And now you just draw a circle where you want to disable touch. You'll create a circle here, you can change it, boom, like so. And then you can always tap on the X. Let's say I want to have uh, this area of the touch screen blocked, boom. And now when, we, uh, when, when we're ready to go, we tap on start. It will ask us to enter in a passcode. Uh, if you're trying to give your phone to a kid or something like that, use a passcode, which is not on this iPhone, but do not forget the passcode, otherwise you'll be locked in the application. So for me, I'm going to do a nice easy 111. And now guided access has started. So I can move around all of here. The second I try to use the touch screen, in this gray box doesn't allow me. If I click the power button, you can see it asks for the passcode okay. If I use the volume buttons, they aren't working because I disabled them. So in order to get out of guided access, either triple click the side button or triple click the button used to enable guided access. So click, click, click. It will ask for the passcode. Enter in the passcode. And then you see here, resume or end. I'll just select end. And just like that, guided access has been ended. So that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.